Hey, what up, good people? I am Miss Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping through. I hope you'll enjoy this content while actually consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. And if you're returning, hey, shit, nothing. All right, y'all. So today we have another synthetic wig review. I feel like I have been straying away from synthetic wigs. And I told y'all in my last synthetic wig review that I have a slew of them sitting here and I just need to, you know, review them. <laughs> and they're a little older, so I have not been purchasing any new synthetic wigs. You know, I just been on my human hair strike, or not strike, but train lately. Like, I just been on my human hair vibes. Like, that's just what it's been. But I am happy to do another synthetic wig review for you guys today. And the wig I'm going to be reviewing for you all is this sensational Swiss lace, what lace collection wig. It is in the style Davina, and I have her in the number two. So with this wig, it does come with HD lace. We do have 13 by 6 inches of parting space, so you've got versatile parting options as well as styling options. They do claim that this unit is pre-plugged and it has a natural density. So let's go ahead and dive right on into the unboxing and the installing of this wig right here. about this one y'all I'm gonna be honest like this is probably why I have not been motivated um or interested in buying or purchasing a lot of synthetic wigs I don't know what's happening um I just feel like they're recycling <laughs> wigs and just giving them a new name I'm just being honest devil's advocate here like like <sighs> All the wigs are starting to be like a wig you've seen before. They just have a new name. They may have upgraded some things about the wig um, and still put a new name on it, but that's just my personal opinion, y'all. So with this one, I love the style. Um, the deep waves is very nice. It already comes layered for me, which I didn't have to cut anything. I do feel like it's a very nice and seamless hairline. It definitely looks like this is growing out of my scalp. I did not glue down the side, so I am flapping in the wind a little bit, even though I added some bobby pins, because I knew I was going to wear it as a middle part, and you wouldn't be able to see it anyway. So I'm having a lazy wig moment, which happens sometimes. I just wasn't in the mood. So the HD lace is definitely working. Um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's, it's blended and melted pretty nicely. No problems there. The 13 by 6 parting space is always nice to have all of that extra parting space, so I could do some additional styling. Do a half up, half down style, all that jazz. You know, you can do some things with 13 by 6, which is my jam. I love anything over 13 by 4, so I'm here for it. Now, I must say, this is definitely a shangler. 
It's a shangler, which means she is shedding and tangling. Um, yeah. I don't glide through every single time. And we are definitely on the shedding side, ma'am. Like, we are shedding some serves around here. Um, so yeah. She's shangling, like I always say. Um, you know, honestly, like I said, with these wigs recycling themselves, or the companies recycling them, this wig reminds me so much of Raina and probably some other wigs that I just didn't dive in deep enough to see what I have reviewed. But, like, I know I reviewed this type of wig a multitude of times on my channel. <laughs> So, you know, they just become a little repetitive and they just change the names. And so that's why I've been leaning so much more towards human hair wigs lately because I can style it as I want to style it. Like, I just have free will. You know, it's just, it's just more flexibility with a human hair wig in my humble opinion. Now, I get the convenience of a synthetic wig where, you know, it's already styled for you. And all you have to do is pretty much throw it on. You may have to still pluck, pluck that hairline. Um, you know, you may still have to do some other things to it. All right, so let's get into the price. <clears throat> this wig is definitely running you in that $50 price range, which I think is on the higher side, you know. And for me to be experiencing shangling, uh, I can't necessarily say that it's worth it. And, like, the human hair wig prices are busting these synthetic wigs upside the head honey like check out my human hair playlist honey like check out all my recent videos that are human hair and I promise you they are not much more than the price of this wig and you get more quality and flexibility with a human hair wig I'm just being honest y'all I'm just being honest so that's pretty much all I have on this unit today of course, as always, I would love to know your thoughts. So let me know what you guys are thinking about this unit down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and chat about this bad boy right here. If you have made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave me this little red heart exclamation emoji right here down in the comments so that I know you made it to the end sugar muffin and you know I love and appreciate you for that. I thank you all so, so much for just taking the time to rock with me today. I appreciate it as always. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not, and I will be sure to catch you beautiful people in the next video. Bye, y'all.